Here in the Model S, each one of the vehicles from our 70, the 85, or the 90, or if you see a D on it, that means you've got dual motors, so you've got your, your dual, your 70D, your 90D, that means that you've got all-wheel drive. Right. Uh, each one of these vehicles has a 17-inch screen built in, mm. so this screen gives you access to everything from our music, satellite navigation, the calendar, trip meter, internet, and our camera. We also have our phone icon. If you click on any one of these, you'll see that mm. you have access to any one of these items, either in split screen form, which you can see here, yeah. where right now we've got music and satellite navigation. So, or, can, you go, so can you go full screen on that? Yeah, or definitely. Or if you, for example, if you click on oh, wow. the little triangle down here, you have access to then the full satellite navigation powered by Google. So, so these, zooming out. So these are the charging points, yeah, all the red definitely. dots. So these are the charging points. So any one of these, is seen by the car at all times. So if you click places up here, mm. you'll notice that you have these tabs. You have your recent favorites, superchargers, and visited chargers. Under recents, that shows you simply all the chargers that you've, you've actually looked at already. Mm -hmm. So right now we've got our supercharger here at Blue Water. You can add locations. You see what you did yesterday. Right. You click favorites. These are the ones that you saved as favorites. Mm -hmm. Superchargers is a full list of all the chargers available. So you notice that by location, by our, our current yep. location, you can see proximity wise it's listed from closest. Got you. So you've got them everywhere, which is really nice. At a glance, you can already see what yeah. exists. And then there's visited at the bottom. And then click this little X here. Can you show the handles? And um, the lock the car from the top left, sorry. So right now when I just click that button, the lock, I've now recessed the handles from the outside of the vehicle. Oh, so no one can open it. So no one can open. When I click it again, it's now open, which is nice. You can actually change the behavior Fantastic. of the handles yeah. from the outside. So as I was saying, you can actually travel to any one of these destinations. If I were to click on something like this one down here, Genoa, mm. here in Italy. So I've clicked this, actually it's going to Veraza, you'll actually see your route calculated mm. and as this populates this little screen with directions, you'll actually start to see a list here. So here it lists my charge and once that's complete, when I click this button here, this trip button, this will allow me to see our way of actually charging up the vehicle. So from the top here, oh, wow. you can see here, yeah. 40 minute charge required, 40 minute charge, and so on, all the way down to our destination. And this little button here with this little lightning bolt allows me to hide the other locations. So, so it's just your route. Just the route. Wow. Straight to the destination. You can see all the charging points, and mm. I can remove them as well. If I just remove that, I can just get my normal, normal. calculated route as well which is good, so it doesn't have to look fantastic, flooded, which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. That is that's absolutely good. awesome. So that's the satellite navigation. You notice that if I click on any one of these icons, I can actually bring them into anywhere that I want. So I can bring mm. this calendar mm. up or down to any spot, and I can let it go. And I can also do things like move the camera. And when I have this camera there, <laughs> mm. I can actually see what's going on behind me. 
people like this a lot. When you're yeah. doing things like the auto park, or the bay parking, the parallel mm. parking, you can actually see the car on yeah. the screen, you can see the wheel direction. Can you move this? Yeah. Can you move the viewpoint as well? I can't move the viewpoint. Right. It looked like I could because somebody went oh, yeah, in the yeah. back, but you yeah. notice you'll be able to see people in the back. There. Yeah. It's one of our little supercharges. It's great because you can even see like small animals and mm, mm. children if they pass behind us. When you go in reverse, does it give you any parking assist lines or anything? You do. You see the, the, the lines of the car in the back there. Wow. Which is good. And like mm. I said, you can switch any one of these. Mm. And music wise, it's quite good because you actually have access now to normal AM, FM, and DAB radio. You've got Spotify, which gives you access to any music that you might want to, to look at. You have TuneIn Radio, which is one of my favorites. You can mm -hmm. see anything that's on the TuneIn Radio stations. And you can also look at this, which is your Bluetooth yep. devices. Cool. As you would see, you've got Bluetooth. You can connect your devices quite easily. You've got Wi-Fi as well. That'll be populated by a whole list team mm -hmm. there, which is quite good. Does this create its own Wi-Fi hotspot then as well, the vehicle? You can connect, you can connect through others, other right. devices. Mm. And this up here, when you have this list, you see that these are all different names. Yeah. These are actual, actually, actually profiles that you created. Mm. So if you make any changes, for example, any changes to the steering wheel, mm -hmm. or the seat position or locations, you can actually save these as profiles. So when you hit save on any one of these, it'll actually list down through here. So if I click anyone, like Jeremy, I click this, and this is now changing to the profile that somebody has set for that particular, particular person. Got it. A very uncomfortable setting, that one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm going to switch back to comfort. Yeah. And you'll notice uh, that this little connect here, this is the home link. Yeah. And under home link, you actually have other settings wow. through there, so you can control multiple doors and mm. door handles and different things in the yeah. garages, which is quite nice. And the, the driver profiles are listed here. So once you've mm -hmm. added some, you can modify them. Throughout here, you can change things like the, the units for the vehicle, the location, the, the distance options, and the hour clock settings, so you can wow. see all of that. Down here, through the vehicle, you can change different things like the, the settings for the door handles, mm. the locking of everything, the light settings, the mirrors, the climate control. Mm. The display can also be changed from day and night mode. Mm -hmm. So you can see there's a percentage, so you can actually change the brightness right, right. here. And this allows you to change also the, the way that the contrast levels are set. Mm -hmm. the gamma as well, so you can see everything like that. You can have it automatically change based on time as well. Right. Which yep. is nice. And a clean mode. So when you want to clean everything, finally you can. And all you have Got to it. do is press and hold that for a few seconds, and that pops right back. Control-wise, when you click the control for the vehicle, you can see that you have the vent here. So yeah, just for a I was small playing crack. with that earlier. Yeah. And you can actually change all of this in in uh, micro adjustments as well. So when I click that, ah, you can change that in smaller, right. large increments. Yeah. The suspension, which is location of where, is set here. Mm -hmm. So you can also change that based on speed. So when you drive to a certain speed and beyond, mm. it'll lower automatically, which is quite good. You can change that and it saves it there. Mm -hmm. And the other driving stuff, so you've got your sport and insane mode here, which is mm. quite good. And your steering modes. Mm. The slip start is there and the regenerative braking and range mode is there. Yeah. The cold weather for different seating options is in here where you have your heated steering wheel, your nozzles, the front and rear seats. Mm -hmm. You also have your lighting can be changed through here as well. So I've just turned on the lights. You can lock and unlock different portions of the vehicle. So you can, you can open up the front trunk by pressing that button. The charging port, which also opens when you approach it with the the nozzle for the electric chargers. Right. And I've opened that up for these people here. And the back trunk there. Yeah. The charging port, which is quite good. Your trip meter is here. Yeah. And that's the displays. The e-brake is, is set through there. And your climate control is all, all down there. Here. So here you can control any one of these parts of the vehicle. Very simple, really clear and easy to set up. And your volume through here. But you can also change that stuff through the steering wheel. So you notice right. on the steering 
the steering wheel, you have this here, which allows you to change different portions. Ah, uh, right, so you're controlling the front display. Exactly, so you can control the front display there, mm. and this part here. You can also do things like change the actual items that you're viewing. Yep. So, the media, energy, the trip meter, the car stats, navigation. All on the front. Do that. Yeah, all yeah. on the front. So, you don't have to... Do don't have to side view. No, exactly. Yeah. And if anything wow. goes wrong, you can reset any one of these. Yeah. So, you don't ever have to worry about mm. it being a problem. Question. A, Question. Okay. That was um, unbelievable. Thanks for the demo of that. No problem. Um, charging at home. Charging at home? Not a problem. Do you install you have, something? Or? Yeah, we do. We, we do. You are entitled to a single charger at home, mm. so that will be installed by... Included the in the price? Yeah. Included. So, that's, there's one. So right. you get one and there's, I believe that's still connected to government incentive mm -hmm. to yep. get people to do that. And you have access, like I said, to our entire network and any mm. other. And as we do uh, set up this infrastructure, yeah. it is free for life for customers. Right. So, yeah. And what about where I've seen these crazy videos online where people aren't controlling the car? You know, you're meant to have your hands on the wheel and your feet. You know, you're meant to be yeah. able to take control yeah. of the car. Yeah. Where, where in America they've got even got like lanes that are set up for automatically changing lanes. That's not set up here, is it, in the UK? Uh, so right now, uh, it's, you do have some restrictions, and this right. is for safety. So yeah. you notice on YouTube, people doing that crazy stuff. Yeah. We have yeah. implemented some improvements mm -hmm. and some restrictions. So for safety, residential roads are restricted mm -hmm. with a, a divider, center divider. And yeah. a lot of this information is actually available in the car. So you never mm -hmm. have to worry about breaking the law or doing yeah. crazy stuff. I mean. You don't want uh, a few bad apples out there no. to, to ruin it for everybody. So is there so any any auto steer here already in the UK? We do have we do have autopilot available now. So you in what areas in the UK is that though? Highways. Are they, so, uh, sorry? Highways. So you, on the highways. Yeah, on the highways. So you can. I mean if you do arrange a test drive, we'll yeah. have that demonstrated for you and it is pretty amazing. On the stock here, mm. you first set the distance that you want to stay away from cars. Oh, the car lengths, yeah, yeah I've you do, heard about that, yeah. You have that, and that's the beginning of it. Mm. Then you then stay within the lane that you want to stay in, mm. and then when you set the autopilot, it will uh, it will bleep, and it'll tell you that, that it is locked, and when it's working, it works amazing. Wow. And people love it. It's something I think that at some point, Mm. People won't want to buy a car unless it actually has that option yeah. in it. It'll be yeah. like ABS a few years back. Yeah. In the beginning, it was just something that mm. that one of our competitors had actually just uh, come up with as yeah. an option on a vehicle. Mm. Then it became standard, didn't it? At some point. Very but, true. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But you can see as well, we've also got auto park too. So yep. bay parking and parallel parking. Mm -hmm. And this actually allows the vehicle to park completely autonomously automatically on its own with you still at the driving do you have to do you have to control the brakes you don't control you anything. don't do anything no you hit the start button wow and it just does everything for you and it does it very well as well enough that people probably be afraid to park on their own at some point you know it is a beautiful vehicle it would be a good thing yeah. if more cars had that you'd have yeah. less scratches on your vehicle and others <laughs> and less paint on the walls yeah in parking yeah. spaces wow but yeah well, that's good right where do i sign you can sign on the dotted line. Well, I'll get you hooked up with a test drive. So we are back from our trip to Blue Water and as you probably gathered from the footage you've already watched, it turned out to be more of a car shopping day rather than a general shopping and viewing watches and eating day. That wasn't intentional. Now when you watched my video about a week or so ago, you saw me looking at the Mercedes C63 AMG and also BMW 4 Series because I'm really considering changing my car this year 
certainly in the first half of 2015 if possible. And obviously Tesla was on my radar, but before today, I maybe sort of prematurely discounted it because I had lots of concerns about charging points. Now, we had a fantastic demonstration by Anthony at Blue Water Tesla. Big, big thank you must go out to Anthony. He was such a nice chap and very thorough in everything that he showed us. And the features are just amazing, absolutely amazing. In fact, I'm really looking forward to doing a test drive now so that I can hopefully put the Tesla on that consideration list for the new car. I was really surprised as well when we looked at the navigation system at just how many charging points there are in the UK alone. And then when we panned across to the rest of Europe, there were just loads. And it's really encouraging to see that happening at such a fast rate. Now, apart from that really awesome demonstration, we did come away with a few things. There's this, which is like just a, a holdall for the information. And inside there, some really great bits and pieces. There's this print of a Tesla Model S, and a really good quality print, actually. That will probably make it into my studio. We also got a 2016 calendar, some information about pod points, which are the charging options, and also a little postcard with another nice photo on. So really useful information and a really fantastic demonstration. And I'm super excited because it's such great technology and I'm really looking forward to the test drive. I'll share that with you in a future video as well. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you had a fantastic day wherever you are. I'll see you again in another video very soon. Music